hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel today in this video we are describing about accessibility settings in zoom application as you know i was explaining about the zoom settings features for uh, in my last couple of videos and you can see here in the settings we have completed everything almost everything except the profile option and accessibility but today in this video we will be explaining about the accessibility settings in zoom and the next video will be uh, related to the profile section uh, but let's discuss about the accessibility right now so what are the options we have uh, available in accessibility it's related for example if you have subtitles on your zoom meeting or the video that you're playing and you can uh, change the caption font size like closed caption font size to normal to large you can see what are the closed caption font size how it will be different for example if you put large this will be maximum size you can put it medium it will be somewhat like this and also if you put normal that will be normal small sized captions so this is how you can change the caption size and you can change the display size of chat box uh, default is 100 percentage you can make it 80 if you want to um, make it a little smaller and you can maximize it up to 200 percentage normally i'll keep it 100 percentage but if you want to just increase you can just increase it all right um, the next section is about the screen reader alerts like if you get any messages if anyone has joined or left the meeting if any participants has joined or left the meeting audio muted by host video stopped by host screen sharing startup or stopped by participants recording permission granted or revoked public in meeting chat received private in meeting chat received in meeting file upload completed closed captioning is available closed captioning typing privilege granted revoked similarly you have um, couple of in-screen alerts so for example when you're starting a recording you will uh, receive a small screen reader alerts or if you're just if someone if someone is leaving a meeting you will receive a small alert on your screen that is what is called screen reader alerts you can uncheck if you don't want to get the um, some of the screen reader alerts and also you can uh, restore default suppose you just um, remove some of the uh, alerts and you just want to restore everything you just click on restore default instead of um, checking everything again and you have a couple of options available for you to uh, enable or disable the screen reader for example if you revoke the permission for uh, recording uh, you can send a screen reader alert or not if you want to if you don't want to uh, receive an alert and also you can um, uh, disable or enable the notification for closed captioning or host privileges granted or revoked and a couple of options you can check it off uh, check it out these options and you can customize the screen reader alert based on your uh, requirement even if the participant has joined or left meeting you will not be um, getting any screen reader alerts if you don't want to get but in case if you just want to um, see who is joining who is leaving the meeting you can uh, just enable this um, screen reader alerts so guys we almost completed everything um, about the zoom settings option the only topic that we have remaining is profile section that we'll be covering in the next video and we'll be explaining some techniques related to the zoom in coming videos and i believe this video was helpful to you thank you for watching subscribe the channel click the bell icon for notification take care bye, -bye.